Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be in the next video's comment of the day. Guys, we're on the road to 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me, please. But today, we are here at the Guggen Squad headquarters. We're actually about to walk inside and see kind of like what's going on. But we're doing a shopping spree today with no budget inside the storefront at Guggen Squad. So you guys can actually come to the headquarters, walk right inside the store and buy tackle here. And we're gonna do like a little bit of a shopping spree. I actually have like a ton of baits in the boat. If you guys haven't seen that last video, I got like a brand new boat and there's a ton of tackle. Actually, I'll show you guys a little bit of it now. But yeah, we're gonna be adding more to that because I'll run through worms in like a week. I'll run through like 20 packs. So we do fish a lot here, but let's go see what's going on inside. I think yak packs in here. So guys, here is uh, my boat right here. We still have yet to even take this thing out, but <laughs> as you can tell, I mean, we have every type of lure you could possibly imagine. I'm actually, I'm so pumped for this. This isn't even like all of it. If you look under the seats over here, guys. Yeah, I mean, there's there's like unlimited tackle that I have in the boat. But guys, the boat, super cool. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it linked down below where we kind of like go through everything here. But uh, yeah, if you didn't see that, I do have a boat now. The goal in today's video is not the boat actually uh, Weston and fishing with Becca let us know that they were on some big fish right now So we just need to pick some tackle up for pond fishing in the storefront and uh, yeah A little shopping spree a little fishing spree try to catch mm -hmm. some big old fish as we always try to do Perrick you have anything to add to this video? Just uh, no. <laughs> Sweet Touché. All right, we're gonna guys we're gonna go inside grab some more I don't think I have like white bandito bugs and cracker cross. So that's gonna be something I Less need. Weston did say he probably could find some on the beds, so. Yes, and uh, for those of you guys who don't really bed fish all too much, I really like like light colors, like a white or a pink or something that yeah. you can see when the fish eats it. So I need some of that, and then whatever else we need more of, we'll just add on to it and have Everything. a little Everything. free shopping spree. Let's go ahead and go inside real quick. guys we are here inside of the store i have a lot of things i probably don't need that much but do i want it yes so we're gonna just go around i actually do i have darts in my boat Matter of fact, am i allowed to take darts because yes. i don't think i have yeah, sweet all right so we're gonna grab like a little bit of everything and uh prepare for today's fishing trip because it's gonna be a lot of fun all right just start right off the rip Guys, we got uh, the lipless crankbaits. My favorite all-time go-to colors. Silver, gold, and then red in the spring. So what's really cool about this uh, this silver right here with the blue back, one, it looks exactly like a shad, but two, the silver, the way the bass actually see it, it reflects the environment. So this is actually like the most natural lure that you could throw. It's weird because we see it as silver and I was throwing like a silver rat one time and I thought it looked so crazy, but it reflects like the hydrilla or the logs or the dock and it makes whatever lure you're throwing look like it's just right from there. But guys, we got we got the bigger version of the clutch too, which bigger lures most of the time equal bigger fish. This is the newest Guggen Squad lure right here, the darts. And you guys know, like I love throwing flukes. It can't get any more natural than like a bait fish that looks like it's Sorry. dying. <laughs> you're good. So they have the, uh, the bigger version here, which is uh, seven inch. And then we have the five inch right here and the six inch. What makes these different than like other fluke style baits, which I found like really interesting. Because when you open these up, if you get like, like a zoom fluke or something like that, the tail is gonna be sideways like that, but with the darts, it's like this. Yeah. Which I think that makes it swim through the water and it would be better for like a chatterbait trailer or something like that with the tail facing this way. The main thing that we're gonna be getting today is probably the darts because I don't have any of them yet because they're yeah. brand they're new. They're literally brand new, yeah. Oh, look at that color. Green magic. gizzard chad, gotta get one of those. And probably, we'll try the California crawl out too. I'm not- That's a good South Florida color. South Florida color? Yeah, yeah. I think it's natural color out, guys. This is also, uh, actually, world's worst favorite color too from Google. Yeah. Is, uh, is natural. Yep. You really, I guess, I don't know, you guys know I don't know how to make baits, <laughs> but I guess this is a complicated pour to do. But that just looks insane. You got like a little bit of the silver in there. I mean, fish like this swim in every single lake and pond in the whole entire United States. They're all gonna look somewhat like this. You can't go wrong. Pearl color. And for bed fishing, I couldn't name like maybe like the crack and craw two in white would be probably like my top two bed fishing lures of all time. I could have 50 packs of those and still not have enough. <laughs> when you find a lure that works, there's you can never have too many of them. Like, what color? What Which one is that? Green That's a an... pumpkin, purple belly, or purple belly. Oh no, it's watermelon, red, purple belly, blue belly. Watermelon. It's these. These right here? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
It almost has like a color. weird green pumpkin purple. That's crazy. yeah, I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I've been using the trench hog a lot, and that's going up in ranks. But the slim shake, my opinion, you can't really beat just a, a little worm. You can catch 10 pounders on it, you can catch a half pounder. Like, if a worm's going by more times than not, they're gonna bite it. Uh, I, I have been throwing the crawl and trench hog more because it is spring, but any other time of year, the worm is a move. Baby dog. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, man, but it has just been driving fish crazy. All over Florida, literally all over, yeah. north and south. So it's not a little like blue kind of, or that color kind of looks like a tilapia almost. Let's get some of those. Yeah, oh, oh we are. <laughs> oh, but we are. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna get the Magnum Slim Shakes right here and Blue Baby, and also yes. Lojo's favorite color, Alabama Craw. Me and him, uh, back when these actually first came out, I think they might have still been prototypes. Yeah, Alabama Craw out at uh, that one crazy yeah. spot that he has. Yeah. Just endless amounts of fish on the Alabama Craw. That's it was crazy. like, and he was, and we were throwing a watermelon red too. They weren't touching it, and then I had like the pack Alabama craw. He's like, give me that. Yeah, and now, give me that. I mean, he does live in Alabama, so Alabama craw is a pretty yeah. fire color. Guys, so these normally would be used for like a trailer on your chatterbait. They actually have rattles inside, which is genius because what you used to have to do back in the day is buy the rattles separately and shove them in your soft plastics, and it would tear it all up. But now they're built inside. You can actually use these as bed fishing baits too. But what I like even more is the Pearl Kraken Craw. I mean, I don't even have to tell you guys about the Kraken Craw. We've been using it for the past like few weeks. Yeah. Like, it's our religion, so. And I don't have any of the white ones yet, which is what I've been wanting. So guys, we've got some of the Guggen Live Worms. If you haven't seen that video, we went micro fishing with them. I'll leave it linked down below. There's a lot of linked videos in this video below. We've done a lot of stuff, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and feed, I think, Gary and the Bluegill apparently eats topwater he's worms. He's top water right now, look at him. Oh, he's ready. He's busting. Oh, he's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. He's busting on it for sure. Oh, oh! <laughs> Smoke. You think Gary will eat a worm too? I don't know. He's kind of scared of me. Gary, come here. No, 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 not you. Oh, he's going, he's going. No! <laughs> that, Gary turned on it though. Gary, Gary, I got you. There's a worm right in front of you. Eat it, Gary. Eat it. Uh, no! Oh my gosh. Bro, oh. What is that? Is That's that a tilapia, I think. I thought it was a cichlid or something. Maybe it is a cichlid. No, it's a bluegill. I just got dirt all over the floor in here. Sick. I didn't do that, guys. Dude, Gary's gonna bust. It wasn't me. All right, Gary. Gary, you're you're all by yourself. That one's for you. Come on, Gary. You notice from the side of the tank. Gary, go for it. Oh, Gary's gonna go, Gary. Oh, 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 you're picky eater, eh? <laughs> guys, we're gonna put the worms away. Get everything from the shopping spree, and go meet up with Weston and Becca, right? Yep. Try to catch some big bass in Texas. My first time fishing in Texas in like three years, and the last time. We were here. What's your biggest Texas I did, fish? I did, catch, I did catch a four and a half pounder in a tournament. I came one here, oh. time one time in tournament with Flair, and caught a four and a half pounder. Nice. Second biggest fish of the tournament. No big deal, guys. Go, boss. Turn forty six dollars and two forty six. All right. All right, guys. We just got everything that we need for today's fishing trip, and actually, too much. So we're gonna run a giveaway for you guys real quick. And I think it would be super cool to give you guys like the new dart. I ended up getting more than I even showed you guys. So we're going to give away uh, five packs of darts. All you guys have to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel, leave a like on this video, and drop a comment down below your favorite fishing lure of all time. This is everything that is going to be in the giveaway. Wish you guys luck. We'll announce it in the next video. The giveaway winner, if I don't say it in the video, it'll be pinned in the top of the comment section. But now it's time to go fish. Yak Pike, you ready? First, or you fished in Texas before. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm ready to go catch a stud. Catch some big ones? Yeah, I'm ready. We got the gear to do so. Let's go ahead and uh, rig everything up and get out there. I'm pumped. I've been wanting to fish all day. Freaking go! First cast in Texas, man. <laughs> my first ever cast too on the Guggen rod. My first fish broke it in. Dude, I thought I was stuck on grass. Guys, we caught that one on the mini clutch here in the red and orange. Look at all the grass. That's literally what I was ripping it through. He came up. Yo, no way! There's a shad in his mouth, dude. Guys, he literally just ate a shad. We threw a clutch, which is basically just like what he's been eating. 
That is crazy. Dang, look at that. Fat little guy, two probably caught in the half, or it honestly looks like a Florida bass. Dang, we're gonna let her go. It's a big girl. Oh, he swam back to say hey. Of course, man, my guys, my GoPro battery's dead. We walked down here and we got, we grabbed the wrong battery. I catch a fish. I was like, let me wait one cast and we'll walk back up the truck, the truck and grab the battery. Caught one first, first cast. Crazy. Hey, that's what we like to see right there. Catch and release fishing only. Jeez. That is tough. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just chase bait right there. Got him, got him. We're tight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stay down, girl. Golly, they fight so hard out here. Another Texas bass. Oh, I got her by the back hook only. Yes! They are so chunky. Guys, there's a freaking hurricane coming through, man. We got tornado winds, but yet we're still catching bass. Whatever that wind whips, it really, I mean, doesn't help with YouTube videos, <laughs> but the fishing can pick up when the wind gets crazy. We'll start, the bait starts moving around, the big bass will start moving around, chasing them. And there's another solid Texas bass right there. Probably a one pounder, super dark fish. There's so much grass in here. I was not expecting to go from Florida to Texas and there to be more grass here than there is where I live. Dang. Boom. Another Texas bass. I'm gonna get right back out there because I saw like them busting on like Chad out here. So I'm gonna try another cast. This is a mini clutch. And I can cast this thing with the wind blowing at me so far. And I'm loving this new uh, reaction rod. This is crazy. This is the most smooth I've felt like fishing in a while, man. Look at that. I can whip it out there with 20 mile an hour winds in my face. Apparently Texas is just always windy. I didn't know that until I got here. It's just so flat out here. There's no mountains. I figured Florida would normally be like more windy than Texas, but apparently not. Apparently it's just always like 20 mile an hour winds out here. This is ridiculous. Something came up like right here. Yes, I thought something did. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're kidding me, man. Hey, that's my new Texas PV. Look at that dude. Holy cow. That is maybe the smallest bass that's up there in the smallest bass PV range. Uh, there's very few bass I've caught that are smaller than that. That is epic. That's what's cool too about the mini clutch is that you can catch a bass this size, I guess, uh, and bigger ones like we caught earlier. Dude, the, literally the lure is half the size of them, and this is a this is a mini, and it's half the size. But boom, another little Texas bass, man. Always fun catching fish in a different state, especially just rolling up to like a little public spot like this. There's already people fishing, and uh, haven't seen them catch anything yet, which is uh, it makes me feel probably a little bit too too much of an ego. It's like making me feel good about myself and probably I'm not doing too much, but it was fun, man. I'm gonna try uh, just every little open spot that I get, yeah. you know, different angles. Yeah. I can't wait to cast towards that fountain, guys. Yakpack's working his way to it. It just looks so saucy. And uh, the other guy who's out here too has been fishing the fountain the whole time, which makes me think maybe there's some uh, there's some big ones on there. I don't know how big they get out here. We might have to ask the dude when we get out here what his PB is. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna work our way there. It's been working so far. Look at that dude, another bait fish came up right here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why we're walking this way and they keep on getting smaller. This one might be smaller than the last one. That is epic. That is so dangerous. Guys, if you grab the fish behind their gills, it immobilizes them. So when you have treble hook baits like this, look, he won't move at all. You safely can get that hook out and boom. He's ready for, I think that's smaller. That is, that is epic. See, bud. I thought it was a shad or something blowing up. It might have been the bass blowing up. It was that tiny. <laughs> That's her. That's her. Oh, Fish on. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, stay on. Ate right on the edge of the grass. Yo, it's a nice one. Let's freaking go, man. Guys, five fish. Literally, we just came to fish because we had like a little bit of time before the day was over. Boom. Look at the beautiful colors on that too, guys. These Texas bass are so cool. Like they're the same colors as Florida bass, but they have like way stronger like lateral lines here than they do uh, in Florida. At least the ones I'm catching right now. Dude, look at that. That's how you know they want it too, head first. 
gone. That's how we know we're throwing the right lure today, guys. That was, that was too much fun. All right, guys, we got uh, my fifth Texas bass. What a crazy like little session. 45, se 45 minutes here about end up catching myself uh, five pretty pretty decent bass. That a is lot a of good fun. fish right there, dude. See you, girl. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. We actually gotta get to dinner, so what a fun little fishing session we had guys if you're not subscribed go ahead hit the subscribe button for me please if you made it to the end of the video obviously you liked it so go ahead hit the like button and uh yeah that's it future texas videos here to come very soon so make sure you guys are ready for those but until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here